exclusive contract with Velu Novel Network Novel. Grand Voyage The Magician of the Straw Hat Group Alan, the magician, who travels to the pirate. By chance, he became the vice-captain of the Hatted Pirates. With the ability to swallow fruits, we have collected black technology and demon fruits from all over the world to create various incredible magical artifacts. So, at the top of the war, the brand new hat group shocked the whole audience. Wang Lufei Emperors, Devil's Shadow, Nightmare Lufei Little Thief Cat Alan's Emperor Tool, It's Really Great Magic Weather Stick Lei Ying Robin Alan's Imperial Tool is as resilient as iron, it's really irresistible. Joba Everyone's Fruit, People's Form Emperor's Tool, Earth's Roar, Thunder Roaring Cannon. Yamaji. How can we fix it? Why is the invisibility function of being possessed by demons gone? Yusup. Emperor's Tool. Supersonic Slingshot. Frankie. Emperor Gear. Transformers. Super. Brook. Yo ho 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 ho, a universal music box. Alan. Biological Emperors. Dragon Summoning. Come out, Dragon. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1. Magician, Bader Allen, New. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Wow. East China Sea. The clear sky stretches for thousands of miles. The vast blue sea is filled with undulating waves. On the sea surface, cheerful waves are occasionally stirred up. Hee hee, I've been saved. I'm really lucky. A small boat, sailing with its sails, slowly moves forward there. Two black-haired teenagers of similar ages, one tall and one short, were staring at each other with big eyes. A handsome young man with short black hair, facial features as sharp as a knife, deep gaze, and extraordinary looks stood there with arms in his arms. Bader Allen, who was over two meters tall, looked down silently at the dwarf winter melon that had just emerged from the bucket salvaged from the sea, grinning heartlessly. A seventeen-year-old appearance. I cannot measure a height of 1.75 meters by sight. A flip-flop, wearing a straw hat, denim shorts, and a red short-sleeved top below the left eye, there is also a shallow scar. The identity of the other party is about to be revealed. The future pirate, Wang Lufei. The future son, God Nika. How could he not know each other? Once a somewhat famous magician. It has been over a decade since I woke up and traveled to the world of pirates. I learned the words, devil fruit, world government, Navy Headquarters, and Heavenly Dragon Man from the mouths of those around me early on and basically determined what world I came into. He is unwilling to be ordinary, but he never stops day and night, persistently exercising himself. I am even luckier to have the ability to swallow fruits in the Superman series. I originally aspired to become a naval marshal or admiral in the future. Even if it's not good enough, you can be like the general, yellow ape and become a salted fish. Clock in and out on time, but do not put in effort when tasks are assigned. If you have nothing to do, flirt with beautiful subordinates, play office games, and accept bribes and filial piety. How beautiful is the direction of this struggle! At the age of twelve, he had already developed a strong physique with extremely high talent and the ability to swallow fruits due to bugs. He mastered some of the six moves and ventured out to sea alone. And with his superhuman ability to swallow fruits, he created various strange props and resumed his old business performing magic in various towns to make a living. He quickly became a well-known magician in the East China Sea. Preparing to join the Navy at the age of 17. But reality is so damn. Two months ago, it was less than half a month before his 17th birthday. Just as Bader Allen was preparing to make his final stage performance as a magician on the island of Gobia, 
and officially joined the Navy just after his birthday. Killed two fish men who were unaware of their lives and attempted to attack their own ships from the bottom of the sea. And then, in less than a week, he stumbled upon his bounty from the newspaper. Magician, Bader Allen, with a bounty of eight million Pele, regardless of life or death. His mother, he was directly rewarded by the Navy. So, just after finishing his performance, he was relentlessly pursued by the Navy at the 57th Naval Branch Base on Gobia Island, indiscriminately firing at him. The clay figurine still has a bit of fire. Not to mention the young and energetic Bader Allen. He easily overturned hundreds of live ammunition naval personnel, including Colonel Lucas, the commander of the 57th Naval Base, who came to pursue him and fled. So, his bounty directly rose to 22 million belly. Returning to his second hometown, Clesia Island, he distributed most of the wealth he had accumulated over the years to the kind dot hearted and simple villagers who had taken good care of him as an orphan. And with this kindness, the carefree Bader Allen. Close your eyes and you'll know that you've suddenly been assigned a pirate identity for no apparent reason. Most likely, it was done by Colonel Mouse, the commander of the Navy's 16th branch base, who colluded with the Fishman pirates. I am prepared to go and settle accounts with Colonel Mouse and the pirates of the 16th Navy branch. Unexpectedly, I encountered a pirate named Wang Lufei who had just set sail in this sea area and ended up in a shipwreck. He packed himself in a wooden bucket. It's really close, almost ruined. The straw hat boy who survived the disaster happily bowed and thanked Bader Allen in front of him, hello, thank you for saving me. With his straw hat pressed down, the young man's face was full of confidence as he introduced himself, I am Munch D. Luffy, the man who wants to become the One Piece. Oh. The Pirate King. Staring at the young man in the straw hat in front of him. Bader Allen sneered rudely, you don't even have a boat, are you relying on a barrel to conquer the Great Waterway? He doesn't have any resentment towards Pirate Wang Lufei. Although sometimes naive, impulsive, and reckless, they act recklessly without considering the consequences. But he is extremely passionate and righteous, cherishes his companions, and is willing to sacrifice everything for his companions, even risking his life. He has a strong belief and a tenacious will. Overall, a flaw conceals its beauty. Still quite appreciated, of course not, there will be some in the future. The young man didn't care and said with a grin on his face. He looked at Bader Allen in front of him, who was about the same age as him, but more than a head taller. His eyes lit up and he said, Do you want to be my companion? Do you know who I am? I raised an eyebrow. Bader Allen raised the corner of his mouth and asked with a smile. Yeah. Lu Fei suddenly patted his head and asked curiously, Who are you? I haven't consulted yet. My name is Bader Allen, and I am a magician. Allen said calmly, I originally wanted to become a navy, but I was wanted by the navy for some reason. I am about to go find the culprit and settle accounts. Magician. I heard that the other party turned out to be a magician. Straw Hat Luffy's eyes suddenly lit up, selectively ignoring the content behind Allen. He didn't even blink looked at Alan in front of him with anticipation and asked, Really? Can you do magic? Are you referring to this? Alan lifted his eyelids and flipped his right hand. A fresh flower suddenly appeared in his hand. At the next moment, his fair palms and five fingers spread out, gesturing toward Straw Hat Road, empty and empty. Gently shake your hand. That flower disappeared without a trace. Instead, it is a handkerchief. Wow. That's amazing. How did you do it? Munch D. Luffy's eyes had completely transformed into stargazers, shining with diamond-shaped light. Excitedly looking at Bader Allen in front of him, he couldn't wait to wave his hands and loudly said, Na Na Allen, become my companion. He felt that having such a magician on the ship would definitely be very interesting in the future. I couldn't wait to send an invitation to Bader Allen. P.S. New book opening, kneeling for support, 
seeking flowers, seeking tickets, seeking collection, seeking praise. If the experts passing by have any ideas or suggestions for this book, they can all put them forward. Feel free to share them in the book review. The authors will all read it. Chapter 2 Bug-like Ability, Emperor Tools Magic You are listening at NovelFull.audio Be your companion. Bader Allen looked at Straw Hat Luffy in front of him and pondered seriously. He doesn't have the ambition to become the king of the world. Compared to those powers, Allen is more passionate about power. He, who is naturally free-spirited, initially thought it was too troublesome and wanted to join the navy. Even after being wanted with a bounty, they are too lazy to form any pirate group. I was originally thinking about whether to join the Revolutionary Army or join a pirate group of the Fourth Emperor, just to make ends meet. After settling accounts with Colonel Mouse and the Fisherman Pirates, he plans to travel to the Great Navigation Channel, while also searching for some special materials to collect the skills and scientific technology of those famous masters. Reuse the ability to swallow fruits and create a powerful imperial tool that satisfies him. Joining the Straw Hat Pirates is not impossible. After all, compared to the cunning, treacherous, and deceitful pirate forces on the sea, a simple and harmonious team like the Straw Hat Pirates is more reassuring. On this magnificent sea. Those thrilling and thrilling adventures that make one's blood boil. It's quite worth looking forward to. Joining you is also okay. Really, that would be great. Upon hearing that Alan had accepted his invitation and was willing to join his pirate team. Straw Hat Luffy was overjoyed and jumped up with joy. Don't be too happy too early. Bader Allen waved his hand and said directly to Luffy, who was overjoyed, let me first explain that although I don't have the ambition to become the king of the world, I shouldn't just join any third-rate pirate group casually. If your future performance is too poor to meet my expectations, I will leave. Besides, I want to be the co-captain. Although he doesn't have much ambition for power. But we can't have long noses, colorful cooks, or colorful skeletons do you just crawl onto your own head casually. The position and treatment of the co-captain are still necessary. If there are other crew members involved, it is also acceptable for him to flirt with female crew members. No problem. Having recruited his first companion, Luffy was overjoyed and agreed without even thinking about it. As the second crew member of the Straw Hat Pirates. Alan who looks very strong and should not be weak in strength. Isn't it natural to become a co-captain? That's no problem. Let me introduce myself again. Alan nodded in satisfaction. Looking at Luffy in front of him, he said straightforwardly, My name is Bader Alan. I come from the small border country of the East China Sea, the Kingdom of Lorainic, on the island of Clesia. I am a superhero fruit swallower with the ability to fuse and transform any object I swallow. Although it may seem like I'm just an ordinary magician to the outside world, that's just a superficial profession. Based on my ability to swallow fruits, I also work as a part-time scientist. Strictly speaking, I am an all-dot-around expert in various fields. Besides the three beauties hobbies of beauty, food, and wine, Collecting advanced technologies from around the world is also one of my major interests. Dreams are a bit far away. As a pseudo-scientist, Alan doesn't mind exploring and mastering the truth of the world while enjoying life. But this is just a lofty goal. What he truly pursues is strength. The absolute power to live freely without being constrained. In fact, Alan was born with a mentality of being a fish and not as passionate about science as he had imagined, let alone wanting to devote all his time to exploration and research. He can invest a certain amount of time, explore slowly through small streams, and have enough patience. But I will never invest all my time in it at once. I will not let myself sink into it, let alone lose myself, and become a slave to power or science. Of course, all of this needs to be based on a premise, which is that he must obtain a long life. So, immortality, is also his next major goal. 
However, such bold and crazy ideas are too shocking to the world. There's no need to go into detail with someone like Luffy who has a single-minded mind. Swallowing fruits. It sounds very powerful. Luffy gritted his teeth and laughed. He looked at Alan and patted his hand happily, saying, inviting you to be a companion, it's really fun. In Luffy's perception, magicians should be dressed in black cloaks, tailcoats, single-framed glasses, and top hats. Alan in front of him, dressed in casual black and white, looked more like a noble young master going out for fun. Completely incompatible with its identity as a magician. Long-term future planning without mentioning. Looking at Luffy, who was innocent and sunny with a bright smile, Alan smiled lightly and said simply, My dream now is to travel the world, embark on a thrilling and thrilling journey in adventure, broaden my horizons, hone my body and mind, and become a true powerhouse with both physical and mental abilities. By collecting technology and materials from around the world, we aim to create a supreme imperial artifact that is the strongest in the world and can rival or even surpass the three ancient weapons. Ancient Weapons Supreme Emperor's Equipment Luffy tilted his head in confusion. Well, anyway, you just need to understand that ancient weapons are very powerful weapons. Alan shrugged, without any intention of delving too deeply into the explanation. As for the imperial tools, that's it. As he spoke, he raised his right hand. In Luffy's astonished gaze. A layer of incredibly thin white gold gloves, tightly fused with his right wrist, began to manifest at a speed visible to the naked eye. Unexpectedly, as if having self-awareness, he emerged independently. It fell into Alan's hands. This is a special prop created by me through my ability to swallow fruits, combined with the Superman series' ability to shrink fruits obtained by chance, as well as other special materials. The magic hand, which I call the Imperial Tool. Dot. Alan raised the platinum colored, incredibly light and thin gloves on his hand, proudly introducing them, after wearing them, not only can the gloves blend perfectly with his own hand like the skin of a chameleon, but they are also impervious to knives and guns, water and fire. More able to unleash the Superman's ability to shrink fruits and shrink any non living object targets touched. This is his ability to use the bug of swallowing fruits. A special prop created through countless attempts. With the power to swallow fruits and the fusion of thousands of insect genes, Alan successfully cultivated a non-toxic and harmless special parasite that can share with the host senses, with a mild temperament. He named it, Parasitic Goo. Let it have the ability to eat Superman's shrink fruit, then blend it with other materials and undergo complex and precise modifications to form a special item with demon fruit ability that can be directly controlled by the host and has life characteristics. Known as the Emperor's Tool by Alan. Parasitic Goo, on the other hand, is equivalent to the spirit and spirit of imperial tools. Even if one is already capable, Theoretically they cannot eat the second demon fruit and can still use this special imperial tool directly without any other risks. Of course, although the parasitic goo that integrates with the imperial tool can be shared with the host senses, the user of the imperial tool can directly control it with their mind or spirit. But because the emperor himself is a capable person, so ordinary users of imperial tools cannot fully unleash the power that imperial tools should have. But even so, its value cannot be denied. This is a revolutionary technology that will shake the world. However, as a superhero fruit swallower, Bader Allen can be said to be the only tool wielder who can perfectly blend any artifact, fully controlling and unleashing the effects of that demon fruit ability. Of course, if encountering abilities that truly captivate him. Perhaps he would choose to integrate them directly with himself, to perfectly possess that ability. Instead of using it to create such imperial tools. Seeking flowers, seeking tickets, seeking support. Chapter 3 Setting Sail The Two Major Bosses of the Straw Hat Pirates You are listening at NovelFull.audio Really? CGI. Upon hearing this, Luffy opened his mouth wide. 
while shocked inexplicably, I couldn't help but let my eyes shine. He was full of disbelief. He didn't expect Alan's ability to be so powerful that he could create such a magical prop. It's my turn. A slightly immature face was filled with a sunny smile. He happily patted his chest and solemnly introduced himself, I am Luffy, Munch D, Luffy, the man who wants to become the One Piece King, the rubber man who ate Superman's rubber fruit. As he spoke, he tugged at his cheek, stretching it out like an eraser. The open gums and teeth are clearly visible, more or less creepy. That is to say, Alan is knowledgeable and mentally prepared, so as not to feel too surprised. If you were an ordinary person, you might be startled. So, please give me more guidance in the future, Captain Luffy. Alan wore a smile. He extended his right hand towards him. Hee <laughs> hee. Grasping Alan's outstretched hand. Luffy's eyes have turned into crescent moon. As he officially received his first companion, he was filled with excitement and said with immense joy, from today on, we will be partners, Alan. Two big and small hands tightly clasped together. The two captains of the future straw hat pirates who have shocked the world. From this moment on, I became a true companion. Become a close friend who can trust each other and trust each other with peace of mind. But Alan, did you use the magic you just performed to transform it? But in the blink of an eye, he was already staring straight at Alan. Or rather, he simply stared at the magical glove in his hand, with countless stars twinkling in his eyes. The innocent and sunny face was filled with anticipation and longing. Can you lend me a chance to play? Of course. Alan doesn't mind Luffy's request. He generously handed the Imperial Tool of the Magic Hand directly to him. However, Imperial Tools have life, and if you are not recognized by them, you cannot use them. Unless I directly make them recognize you as the master when creating them. Alan was speaking there. But the excited Luffy didn't listen at all. Because he had already placed the Emperor's Magic Hand on his right hand and always felt a slight tingling sensation, as if something strange had pierced his skin and connected to his nervous senses. I saw the white gold colored gloves, and the color changed at a visible speed to the naked eye. It is completely the same as the skin. Difficult to distinguish. Hey, it's like it's really growing on top, not only tightly fitting with my right hand, but also the color has become the same as my skin. Blinking his round big eyes, the straw hat boy was full of surprise. Moreover, he always felt like his body was completely fused with that magical glove. Like a blessed soul, Luffy instinctively touched the small sailboat beneath the two of them. Alan's eyelids twitched, but there was no time to stop. Hey, wait a moment. Brush. In an instant. The sailboat suddenly disappeared without a trace. And on the sea below, there was an additional mini boat less than the size of a palm. It is strikingly the same as the sailboat they took earlier. Ale. Straw Hat Road blinked. Alan, who was speechless in front of him, stared wide and wide. Next second, he was clutching his hands and feet, shouting and falling straight into the sea, ah. Pop, pop. Between lightning and flint. Alan stepped directly into the atmosphere and remained stagnant. Amazing smoke kept rising from under my feet. With his right hand, Luffy almost fell into the sea and screamed in surprise, lifting him up. He patted his head in frustration and said, Fool, who asked you to shrink the boat directly? Oh, I'm saved. So you can still fly, Alan. Luffy couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief as he saw that he hadn't fallen into the sea. I just wanted to confirm if the ship can really shrink. Dot. Alan's mouth twitched and he was speechless. He helplessly carried a straw hat and flew down the road, stepping on the air to let the two of himself stagnate. Watching the mini boat drifting a few meters away with the waves. Since you are already able to use this imperial tool, you should know how to disable it, right? He bluntly threw the road towards the sea over there and said angrily, Quick, touch it with that magic hand, dot. Wait. Ellen. 
rubber rubber elongates, quickly restore it to its original state. Luffy screamed in panic. With a fierce flick of his right hand, he stretched out like a rubber. Press onto the mini boat. I almost flipped it over. Brush. In an instant. A small boat that was originally less than the size of a palm. In an instant, it turned into a small sailboat and directly returned to its original state. The two of them landed on the ship one after another. Ha, huh, it's really dangerous. Fortunately, it has changed back, hee <laughs> hee. Luffy, who landed on the ship, stretched out his left hand and grabbed his straw hat that had flown out due to the sea breeze. He put the straw hat back on his head with great value, breathed a sigh of relief, and grinned there. Looking at his right hand, which seemed to have remained unchanged, but he felt that he could easily shrink the target he touched or restore it to its original state, he exclaimed in disbelief, Emperor Tools, they are really magical props. Luffy, you still have the face to say. Looking at Luffy smiling heartlessly in front of him, Alan grabbed his collar and shook his teeth, saying, if it were for someone else with other abilities, we would be finished today. Sorry, sorry, that was an accident just now. Luffy had a playful and smiling face, and his apology was insincere. Immediately after, he exclaimed in amazement, but Alan, you're really amazing. You can even run through the air. Previously, the other party actually ran and jumped onto the ship while stepping on the air. It looks like it can fly. Make a deep impression on him. Well, that's called Yuabu. I heard it's one of the advanced physical skills called Six Styles that only a few officers in the Navy can master. After seeing it a few times, I felt it was very practical and learned it by hand. Alan shrugged and casually introduced. In fact, so far he has never encountered a Navy that has mastered the Type 6. This was the result of his persistent exploration and experimentation based on relevant memories in his mind, which he came up with on his own. As long as his physical condition meets the standard, it is not difficult for him to master the skills by spending some time exploring them. Not just monthly steps. He also mastered techniques such as shaving, lanjiao, and finger spear in the six styles. Even with his own efforts, he had already awakened the dominance of seeing and hearing, and exercised quite skillfully. Does the Navy's Type 6 sound impressive? P.S. Ladies and gentlemen who have passed by, your flower tickets are the greatest support and encouragement for the author. Thank you very much carrot underscore carrot. Chapter 4 The Robbed Merchant Ship, Fourth Watch, Seeking Support You are listening at NovelFull.audio All right, Luffy. Take off the magic hand. Alan said directly. He realized that it was not suitable to hand over something too dangerous to Luffy. It's too unreliable. Hee <laughs> hee, don't. In a flash, Lu Fei jumped to the stern of the ship and said excitedly, Don't be so stingy, lend me another chance to play. It's rare to encounter such a fun prop, so he naturally feels a bit reluctant and wants to play it a few more times. That's not possible. If you make any more moths, it will be too headache-inducing. Alan's attitude is very resolute. He was too lazy to catch Luffy who could dodge at any moment, but instead ordered directly, Magic Hand, I command you to come back. Generally speaking, Luffy has been recognized and able to use this imperial tool. Strictly speaking, the nerve on his right wrist has completely fused and connected with the imperial tool. Unless the user voluntarily removes or forcibly destroys this imperial tool. Otherwise, ordinary means would not be able to easily separate the emperor's tool, magic hand, and its right hand. But as the creators of these imperial tools. In order to prevent the emperor tools he created from getting out of control due to certain accidents, Alan naturally had precautions in place for this. He has the highest authority to directly issue instructions to these imperial tools, or to integrate with them, and absolutely obey his own, parasitic goo. As expected, in the next moment. In Luffy's incredulous gaze. The magic hand that was originally fused with him began to detach directly from his right hand. 
It was incredibly thin and flew towards Alan in front of it. Hey! How could it still be like this? It's really interesting. Luffy widened his eyes. Looking at the gloves that seemed to have self-awareness and flew straight towards Alan in front of him, they were full of surprise. Although he hasn't played enough with that magical imperial tool yet. But there was no intention of stopping it, after all, this was originally Alan's thing. It was created by me. In order to prevent those dangerous imperial tools with strange abilities from being stolen or accidentally falling into the hands of others, and to deal with oneself in reverse, necessary preventive measures must be taken. Alan said. There stretched out his right hand. Allow the emperor's magic hand to be directly placed on one's own hand. That's right. Luffy scratched his head and laughed. At this moment, his stomach grumbled uncontrollably. He touched his withered stomach and said, I'm so hungry. Are you hungry? After putting on the emperor's magic hand, Alan pointed to the distance and said, Speaking of which, Luffy, don't you think it's a bit noisy? It seems a bit. Upon hearing Alan's words, Luffy nodded suddenly. Big eyes followed Alan's direction and looked over curiously. I couldn't help but take a moment and say, that's hundreds of meters away. A luxurious-looking merchant ship, filled with a hint of gun smoke. Caught by a pirate ship carrying a pirate flag and equipped with cannons, it stopped there. From time to time, there were screams of shock, cries of killing, and scattered gunshots coming from above. Alan shrugged his shoulders and said calmly, it seems like he encountered a merchant ship robbed by pirates. Starting from the age of twelve, as a magician, he went out to sea alone to make a living and wandered in this East China Sea for many years. He has seen similar things countless times. Even the Sodot called, weakest, and most peaceful, East China Sea. There are countless troublemakers among the pirates. At the end of the day, it is a world government that extorts and extorts money recklessly. Relying on military force and firmly ruling this sea for 800 years, the world government, which claims to be a god, has never considered governing the world well. Completely treating the entire ocean as one's own pasture. Treating all kingdoms, all races, and countless people around the world as livestock and pasture, squeezing people from all over the world and indirectly forcing them to work as laborers. Harvest the fruits of their hard work and the wealth they create at will, and let the privileged class who are born with a golden key and hold power squander and indulge freely. Every year, the world government demands that franchisees of all sizes pay tribute and collect huge amounts of heavenly gold specifically for the extravagant and extravagant world aristocrats, the Tianlong people, to play with. Either, it will be stripped of its status as a member of the world government and no longer receive protection from the world government. Even non-world government member countries not only face the threat of pirates, but may also be oppressed and persecuted by the behemoth of the world government. To some extent, the countless ruthless and separatist, great pirates, on the sea, although to some extent, are the result of the world government's inability to eliminate them, are more of a deliberate indulgence and breeding of tigers as a threat. To deter and compel those world government member countries to obediently hand in the heavenly gold. The extremely heavy, heavenly gold, as well as the various harsh taxes and levies imposed by various countries on their citizens, undoubtedly weigh down countless lower class people and make them unable to breathe. It is inevitable that some people have to go to sea and become pirates because they cannot survive. Or perhaps they are already lazy and willing to take risks, leading them to the wrong path of licking blood at the edge of the knife. Either he is unwilling to be ordinary and was revealed by the legendary pirate King Roger before his death, buried on the legendary island of Raftru, attracting the world's unique treasure one piece and embarking on the path of pirates. Similar examples are unknown. The average bounty for pirates does not exceed three million bellies, making it known as the weakest of the four major sea areas except for the great waterway that serves as a pirate cemetery. The East China Sea, which is widely recognized as a symbol of peace, is still like this. In other sea areas, one can imagine how rampant pirates are and how chaotic the situation is. 
A merchant ship. There should be a lot of delicious food on it, right? Upon hearing this, Luffy's eyes lit up. What came to his mind, his eyes lit up and saliva flowed out. There must be a lot of meat. He swung his rubberized right arm in a circle like a windmill. Sweeping up waves of remnants. Wait, Luffy, here I am. Alan was just about to stop the other person. But before he could finish speaking, Luffy's right hand suddenly stretched out. Directly extending a distance of several hundred meters, he caught the merchant ship that had been plundered by pirates. The next moment. He stretched his left hand. Surprisingly, they still want to catch Alan. But after experiencing the accident just now, I have come to understand the unreliability of this straw hat captain. Alan, who has been on guard for a long time. Decisively relying on the aura of seeing and hearing, he dodged the left arm that had wrapped around him. Alan. In an instant, Luffy, who could no longer fix his figure, shouted, his whole being like a rocket, flying straight over. Fool, I was trying to say I have food here. Watching the road flying towards the merchant ship, Alan helplessly supported his forehead. With the ability to shrink fruits in the Superman series, it is possible to directly shrink any non-living object targeted touches, even a three-story building can be reduced to less than the size of a palm-sized emperor's magic hand. He carries a large amount of supplies with him. There are even generators and refrigerators, not to mention those dried meat. Especially, over the years, he has been traveling around the East China Sea as a magician and has not achieved nothing. Not only has it created an imperial tool like the magic hand. He also used a special superhuman demon fruit ability obtained by chance to create a spatial imperial tool. On weekdays, he stores a large amount of materials and other experimental materials, as well as other types of imperial tools that are inconvenient to carry, in that space-type imperial tool. New book seeking support, flowers, tickets, collections, rewards. Chapter 5 Alan's Killing Machine, The Soft Thief Cat You are listening at NovelFull.audio On a merchant ship Sporadic gunshots, sparse and sparse Alan did not abandon Luffy and slowly approached with a small sailboat. A young and beautiful orange-haired girl was carrying a large bag of packages, quietly feeling her way down from the side of the merchant ship with ropes. Jumped onto a small boat that was already prepared at an unknown time. And then, the girl looked up and saw Ellen holding her arms, looking at her with a playful expression on her lips. Two people were staring at each other there. Are you? Nami's pupils suddenly shrank and she said, that the magician, Bader Allen. Looking at Allen's handsome face in front of him, he immediately recognized his identity. Originally, I just wanted to come to this merchant ship where celebrities gather and steal some treasures by hand. I never expected to encounter such a big shot, directly of course she knows each other. Magician, Bader Allen. He is a young magician who has been popular in the East China Sea in recent years. Because of their superb magic, handsome appearance, and humorous performance style being sought after by countless women and children. I heard that the magic theater where he performed on stage, the ticket price for a single performance alone, adds up to several million or even tens of millions of Bailey. I have made the little thief's eyes hot several times, wishing I could meet him directly. With skilled stealing skills, he cleanly and cleanly made a move. Two months ago, magician, Bader Allen passed by the sea ruled by the dragon pirates and directly killed two mermaids, then swaggered away. Because he couldn't find anyone, the angry fish man a long learned of the identity of the surviving fish population and directly had the navy, who had been heavily bribed by him, slander him as a pirate and wanted him. After learning about this from the mouth of the fish man along, she secretly felt sorry for the other party. But later it was heard that the other party had defeated the navy pursuing him in the 57th branch of the navy alone, and had destroyed several warships, flying away. The trend was strong, and the bounty skyrocketed, soaring directly to 22 million belials. Has already become a notorious pirate in the East China Sea. 
and the Alrida pirates are plundering this luxury cruise ship. The captain, Ironrod Arida, was just a pirate with a bounty of five million belly. In this sea area, except for a few, great pirates, the vast majority of pirate bounties generally do not exceed millions of dollars. The infamous name of magician Bader Allen has already spread throughout the East China Sea, making children cry. Describing him as a killer maniac disguised as a magician who likes to deceive children with candy. What kind of demon who kills without blinking an eye what has a dual personality of performing magic during the day and liking to kill at night or maybe it's a magician on the surface, but a hero who specializes in robbing the rich and helping the poor on the dark, often robbing unscrupulous merchants and nobles who are not benevolent to the rich there are various versions available. What a brave and meticulous guy, he dares to pull out his teeth with a tiger's mouth. His courage is commendable. Alan looked at the orange-haired girl in front of him and gave a faint smile. Have you, such a big shot, also set your sights on the treasure of this ship? The girl's face changed upon hearing this. I mistakenly thought that the other party's goal was also to plunder this cruise ship, which had gathered many wealthy gentry, businessmen, and social elites, just like that group of Yalta pirates. For a moment, my forehead was sweating, feeling both alert and uneasy. Hmm. Alan raised an eyebrow. But in the blink of an eye, he understood that the other party had probably misunderstood. In fact, he praised the courage and wisdom of this girl. Even the well-known group of Yalta pirates in the East China Sea, who had almost controlled this merchant ship, could quietly steal so much treasure and escape unscathed. What do you think? In an instant. The tall figure instantly came to the girl's face. Looking at the orange-haired girl in front of me. His heart was filled with infinite emotions. At first, Alan was prepared to wait until he became a navy officer. Find another time to take down the group of fishmen along, waste them and use them as a means of promotion. Take advantage of this highly talented and attractive little thief cat and bring it under your command as your secretary and navigator. Maybe you can still play office play. Unexpectedly, I had already been labeled as a pirate before joining the Navy. The original plan is naturally impossible to implement again. Thinking of his originally beautiful plan being destroyed by the fish man all along and that damn Colonel Mouse, he couldn't help but itch with anger. There was an indescribable cold gleam in my eyes. Unconsciously, it exuded an astonishing murderous aura. What a terrifying guy. Nami froze completely and broke out in a cold sweat. Not only was it startled by Alan's completely imperceptible, teleportant speed, but it was also intimidated by the opponent's terrifying murderous aura. In her fierce gaze, Alan's right hand leaned over directly. Watching the patient slowly approaching, she had no doubt that her big hand could directly twist her neck. The girl, unwilling to sit idly by, wanted to resist but her body seemed uncontrollable, somewhat disobedient. I couldn't help but tremble and say, is he going to take action against me? All the treasures are for you. One brain pushed out all the treasures that were finally stolen. The girl showed a pitiful and unbearable posture as a weak woman, humbly pleading, please be merciful, master magician, and let me go. That won't work. Upon hearing this, Nami's heart immediately plummeted to the bottom. Feeling cold all over, I closed my eyes in despair. That's it, this is a dead end. I heard that the other person is a demon who kills without blinking an eye. Even the powerful fish man, who has innate advantages in the sea and relies on his racial talent, is not a match. Big hands, not as cold as imagined, but surprisingly warm. Just casually and gently covering her little head, gently rubbing the orange short hair of the thief Kat Nami, which appeared very capable. With her heart pounding and ready for death, Nami couldn't feel the pain for a long time and instinctively opened her eyes. Staring wide at the young and handsome boy in front of him with watery eyes. The headscarf I was wearing had fallen onto the small boat at some point. Don't scare yourself. Looking at the little thief cat with a pale complexion in front of him and tears streaming from fear. 
Alan comforted with a light smile, don't worry, I'm not interested in this treasure. Seeing the other person's expression full of fear, he roughly guessed that the other person was probably scared by the murderous aura he had just unintentionally revealed. For a moment, I felt a bit helpless. Fish man ah long, Colonel Mouse in this way, your sins have deepened. Alan has no intention of blaming himself at all. Thousands of mistakes, it's all those guys' fault. Is that right? That's good. Nami, who almost thought she was doomed, was skeptical. She, who only felt that she had survived the disaster, couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief as she took pictures of the newly formed abundance. Looking at the handsome face that was not as fierce as imagined, but instead appeared incredibly warm, I couldn't believe it. Is the terrifying murderous aura just now her illusion? Moreover, she couldn't help but shudder because she didn't even have the fish man along, with a completely immovable aura and a sense of overwhelming pressure that was almost suffocating what exactly is going on. P.S. The data for the new book period is crucial, and everyone's flower tickets are the greatest encouragement for the author. Please support. Chapter 6 Red Heart A, Murder Playing Card, One Watch You are listening at NovelFull.audio On the Small Boat Ignoring the sound of gunshots, screams, and shouts of killing in my ears. Well, I'm sorry, don't misunderstand. The killing intent just now wasn't aimed at you. Looking at the pear blossom with rain in front of him, the surviving thief cat, Alan chuckled lightly. If there weren't so many surprises from the beginning. This talented young girl with extremely high sailing talent should have become his subordinate in the near future. Of course, now he serves as the vice captain of the Straw Hat Pirates. In a sense, if this little thief cat joins the Straw Hat Pirates along the same trajectory as before, it can also be considered his subordinate. But anyway, the difference is quite significant. Upon hearing that the murderous aura just now was not directed at herself, it was entirely her own foolishness that frightened her, Nami. Suddenly filled with anger and itching teeth. That pretty face with wet tears on it, really wanting to say something. But when I think of the other party's terrifying aura just now, I feel a little apprehensive. I held back the words that came to my mouth. What a beautiful little flower cat. He lightly flicked his right hand. A red rose appeared in his hand. Alan, with a smile in his eyes, presented the bouquet of roses to the other person and said with a smile, let's take this bouquet of flowers as my apology. Ale. Magic. Looking at the rose handed to me. Some of the stunned little thief cats were inexplicably surprised. What a fast hand speed. Even an experienced thief like her couldn't detect anything unusual. No wonder its performance can sweep the entire East China Sea. Next, I need to find some crazy and reckless fool. If you want to leave, just do it yourself. As he spoke, Alan's tall figure lightly leaped from the small boat to the side of the merchant ship. In the bewildered gaze of the little thief cat who instinctively took the bouquet of roses, he said without looking back, but I have a premonition that we will meet again next. Alan's tone was somewhat teasing. Surrounded by profound meanings, full of indescribable meanings. Humph, who wants to meet someone like you again? After a fright. Nami, whose back had been soaked in cold sweat without realizing it, sat slumped on the small boat. Looking at the roses emitting a faint fragrance in his hand, thinking about his embarrassing performance just now, he angrily spat out his sweet tongue and made a face at the disappearing Alan. Speaking of which, I didn't expect the legendary magician Bader Alan to be so handsome. No wonder I heard that the tickets for every performance are extremely popular. Most likely, it was all taken over by those fanatical female fans. Shit. Without any warning. The sound of breaking through the air is melodious. A plain and unremarkable playing card. Unexpectedly, it tore open the guardrail of the merchant ship and nailed it to the mast of the small boat in front of Nami, swaying gently there. Nami, who was startled again, couldn't help but widen her eyes. Red Heart A. Patting her little heart, 
she breathed a sigh of relief. Xiomu looked at the poker card that had sunk vertically into the mast and pouted angrily, who would take a liking to you, stinky guy. Step forward and forcefully pull out the red heart A card. I found that this was just an ordinary playing card, and after directly penetrating the side of the merchant ship and the mast of this small ship, it was completely undamaged and brand new as before. It leaves people speechless. If this were thrown onto a person, wouldn't it be possible to even cut open a bone? Can a poker card do this kind of thing? That guy is really strong. Nami sighed inexplicably as she murmured, I just don't know if he's a match for a long. In his eyes, a ray of hope couldn't help but shine. She was well aware of the truth that this young and promising magician, who had once been popular in the East China Sea, had become a pirate. There is no need to weave any lies, as long as you tell the truth to the magician Bald Allen, the other party is likely to find trouble with the fisherman Aaron. No, it's impossible. Ah Long is not one of those mediocre mermaids, but a great pirate from the Great Passage. Moreover, the dragon pirates are numerous, and although the magician Bader Allen is very powerful, he is still too young and weak. If he weren't a match for Ah Long's team, wouldn't he have fallen into the trap? Ah Long, that guy really wants him to come knocking on his door, wanting to avenge those two fellow fishermen who were killed by him. Thinking of this, Nami, who had just ignited a glimmer of hope in her heart, couldn't help but feel a little disheartened. The indelible kindness in my heart. Make it impossible for her to use the magician Alan to fight the fish man along. If it were someone else, she would have the same experience and hatred. Even if you think Alan is not a match for fish man and dragon. I'm afraid I will not hesitate to try to use this young magician, who is already notorious in the East China Sea, to retaliate against the dragon pirates. Even if it's not enough to kill the fish man along, who is the leader, I believe he can still kill many other fish people in Along's group. It's good to beg for some interest and vent a bad breath. What person? Stop. Shit. Shit. Ah ah. On the deck behind the cruise ship. Two fierce and muscular pirates, wielding swords and guns, approached Alan shortly after boarding the ship when they discovered him. The sound of breaking through the air howled, and two playing cards flew out. It pierced through their frontal bones and penetrated straight into their heads. Accompanied by two screams, the two pirates widened their eyes and collapsed there with a thud. Is it there? I didn't even look at those two pirates who were killed. Alan walked straight to the first deck. Suddenly, I saw Luffy wearing a straw hat and a short, overnourished and somewhat bloated winter melon boy standing against a group of pirates. The pirate led by him is a fat woman dressed in gorgeous clothes, holding a huge wolf tooth stick, and with a pockmarked face. Alan, you're here. Luffy's sharp-eyed eyes lit up and he waved his hand, shouting happily. Luffy, did you run too fast? Alan stepped forward, ignoring the pirates who were eyeing him. He said directly to Luffy, did you find anything to eat? Luffy said happily, hmm, I ate some apples and then I met these guys. I originally wanted to tell you that I have meat here. Bending his fingers, he tapped Luffy's forehead, and Alan spread out his hand, saying, as a result, your kid didn't even listen to me finish speaking. He ran over in a hurry. Really. Upon hearing this, Luffy's eyes lit up. As saliva was about to flow out, he eagerly asked, Where, where? What kind of person are you, kid? At this moment. Seeing Alan, who had just emerged and looked young and handsome, talking with the straw hat boy who had just offended him and dared to curse himself as a fat woman, there was no one around. Holding the iron rod tightly, the fat pirate Captain Alrida trembled with anger. She decided to treat this young and handsome boy as her own slave and train him well. If you perform better, it's not that you can consider it and try to make it difficult for her to be promoted to her husband. After all, I am the most beautiful woman in the East China Sea, not all men can deserve it. Seeing my own captain, I couldn't help but feel angry. 
the pirates on the side couldn't help but shiver, some of their scalp tingling. In their memory, the angry Captain Alida was quite terrifying. Hello, kid, are you too arrogant? A pirate stood up without hesitation to please Arida. The muzzle of the short gun in his hand was directly aimed at Alan, and he sneered, didn't you see Captain Alrida here? Noisy. Accompanied by the sound of breaking through the air. A black and white shadow flashed past like lightning. Except for Luffy who widened his eyes, everyone else present didn't even react. The voice of the pirate had abruptly stopped. Above, there was already a playing card with Spade A. The whole half of the playing card went into his head, no more, no less. He had round eyes and was bleeding profusely. He fell straight down. Seeking flowers, seeking tickets, seeking support. Chapter 7 The Bad Name of a Magician, Trembling with Trembling You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Just now, what happened? Gollum. Can playing cards also kill people? What are you joking about? The whole scene fell silent. On the vast deck. The pirates present stared blankly at the corpse with playing cards stuck in it, their eyes wide open, and lifeless. One by one, with an incredulous expression, they looked at the young and handsome man in front of them in terror, standing there like a leisurely stroll, maintaining a swinging posture, as if a young man had done nothing. I couldn't help but feel a chill rising, a bit scared. It's like pouring a bucket of cold water from head to toe. Brushing, instinctively, they hurriedly retreated away from Alan. Although holding knives, swords, and even short firearms. But at this moment, they broke out in cold sweat, and no one dared to take action. CGI Lufe on the side had two eyes shining and was amazed there. Alan's move just now was too fast, he almost couldn't react. Although he had already noticed Alan's exceptional skills, he should be very impressive. But to my surprise, not only can the opponent run in the air, but they can also casually throw a playing card and kill the enemy. How handsome! And KB, who was short and chubby beside him. He even widened his eyes there, so shocked that his chin was about to fall to the ground. Looking at Alan with some disbelief. You guy. And now Rita, who was originally extremely impatient and angry. Looking ahead in the dimly lit space, I always feel a bit familiar, as if I have seen a figure somewhere before. Flying cards kill. Is that right? Glancing at the playing card stuck in the forehead of her subordinate who couldn't remember his name, she suddenly thought of something. The bloated body couldn't help but tremble, and the whole person took a breath of cold air. A cold sweat rustled down and he said, I don't know. She didn't want to, so she quickly took out a stack of reward slips from her arms. She kept flipping through it, throwing away the other bounty orders and only keeping one, her hands trembling slightly. On the bounty list, there was a young figure wearing a top hat and a tailcoat, looking handsome and holding a playing card. Its appearance is strikingly identical to that of Alan in front of him. Moreover, the bounty amount above is as high as 22 million belly, regardless of whether it is alive or dead. Alrita held the bounty and looked at Ellen in front of her, trembling as she lost her voice. Are you the popular magician, Bader Ellen these days? The young magician in front of me, who was once popular in the East China Sea, had a bounty of 22 million belly and had terrifying power. He almost wiped out the great pirates of the entire Navy's 57th branch base alone. And she is just a little pirate with a bounty of 5 million bailey. How could she not panic in the face of such a monster? What? The magician, Bader Allen. Gollum. That young magician rumored to be able to kill with flying cards. Is he the culprit of the Gobia Island incident? That pirate with a bounty of 22 million Pele that scared the navy. The pirates present couldn't help but change their faces when they heard this. Everyone was filled with fear and disbelief as they looked at Alan. These pirates licking blood from the edge of their knives may have had several lives under their hands to some extent. 
but compared to the rumored heinous pirate, magician, Bader Allen, it is clearly far from enough. What? KB beside Luffy turned pale. He, who was timid and cowardly, was so frightened that he collapsed to the ground and looked at Allen in extreme fear. With a trembling right hand, he pointed at the other person and said, Are you the big pirate, magician, Allen who kills without blinking an eye? Is Ellen so famous? Luffy, covered in mist, looked at Alan in surprise. When Alan introduced himself earlier, he only heard half of it. I have no idea that the other party not only received a reward, but also has such a great reputation. Even these fierce pirates were trembling with fear. Even fearing to the extreme, completely losing the fighting spirit. It's just a bit famous. Alan shrugged his shoulders. There was no smug expression. He did this little thing, and there was also a small reward. In the weakest part of the East China Sea, it may be considered a sensation. But not to mention the great waterway that serves as a pirate cemetery, where the strong are like clouds. Just placing it outside the East China Sea, such as the West Sea, South China Sea, and North Sea, is not a big news at all. Not only does it have a small reputation, but it is also well dot known to everyone, with a notorious reputation spreading far and wide. Erida, who was somewhat panicked, loudly said, two months ago, there was a terrifying bloodshed on the island of Gobia. Colonel Lucas, the commander of the 57th branch of the East China Sea, led a large number of naval personnel in pursuit of magician Bader Allen who was suddenly declared a pirate by the navy in recent days and was directly offered a bounty of eight million Bailey wanted. The result was not only that they did not catch the other party, but also that they suffered heavy casualties. Along with Colonel Lucas, more than a hundred sailors were killed in action. And what killed them was actually a plain and unremarkable playing card. This extremely tragic and heinous event instantly shook the entire East China Sea. And the culprit, magician, Bader Allen, was immediately listed as a dangerous figure by the Navy and was directly rewarded with 22 million Bailey. After listening to Alrida's sensational story about Ellen, Lu Fei beside him, his eyes lit up and he exclaimed in amazement, Wow! You're really amazing! He looked at Allen in front of him, with a sunny smile on his face, waving his fist with full enthusiasm, and said, I didn't expect you to be offered a reward of 22 million Bailey, Alan. So I have to work hard next. Your words, I believe the bounty will soon surpass mine. Alan chuckled lightly and said. He has a free-spirited personality, but at the same time, he is extremely arrogant. I don't really care about bounties or anything like that. In fact, reputation, wealth, power he is not lacking confidence in taking these into his pocket. I just don't like trouble and don't have such ambition. Otherwise, he would not have chosen to accept the invitation from Straw Hat Luffy and join the Straw Hat Pirates. I have long established my own pirate team to recruit soldiers and buy horses to go to sea. Go away. Alan glanced at the chubby and ugly Alrida, as well as the trembling and trembling pirates, and spoke calmly. I'm in a good mood today, too lazy to kill. He is not a pure good person. The style of action has always been entirely based on preferences and free-spirited. Otherwise, there would not have been a large dot-scale killing on the island of Gobia due to being angered by the navy of the 57th branch. If Colonel Mouse from the 16th navy branch were to slander him, he could still find ways to find connections and appeal. So, Alan's actions on Gobia Island undoubtedly completely cut off his hope of becoming a navy. However, he did not regret his actions. If he can't live his life freely and freely as he pleases, why should he work so hard to become stronger? For pirates like Alrida who are full of evil. He, who is too lazy to take action again, has no intention of punishing evil and promoting justice. However, that Superman-style smooth fruit that can turn even the ugliest woman into a beautiful woman directly. The other party has no hope. Because he had already found the fruit two years ago. Although it may not be of great use at the moment, a little is better than nothing. After all, 
It is a rare beauty product in the world, and it may come in handy. Chapter 8 Arida being bombed away, third watch, dot. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Yes, yes. Magician, let's leave immediately. Hurry up, get back on the pirate ship. Hear that the other party is willing to let go of oneself and others. Alrida, who was originally somewhat uneasy, as well as the sweaty pirates under her command, couldn't help but feel relieved and overjoyed. Busy there, the little chicken nodded like pecking rice. Don't worry about anything else. After a fierce competition, they hastily fled back to the pirate ship with a swan sculpture at the bow, adorned with love patterns everywhere. The Miss Rabdaku. Set sail soon. Quickly leave. Wait, the old lady hasn't boarded the ship yet. Alrita grabbed the rope that had been quietly untied by someone. Watching his subordinates jump back to their pirate ship with ropes, relying on their light bodies one after another, he disregarded the fact that the captain of the Arlita pirates had not yet boarded the ship and simply left with Yang Fan. Alita, who was overweight, waved her fangs and shouted angrily, You ungrateful and cowardly guys. Haha, <laughs> I'm laughing to death. This fat, chubby, and ugly ant was actually left behind by her own subordinates. Watching this scene full of drama. Luffy was laughing and laughing, tears streaming down his face. Even as Alan watched these pirates escape with indifference, he couldn't help but twitch his lips. Those pirates from the Yalta pirates probably had already developed extreme fear and disgust towards this arrogant and domineering ugly woman, Yalta, and accumulated deep resentment. So, with unparalleled understanding and swift action, they set sail cleanly to escape. Intentionally throwing this bulky and immobile captain here is trying to kill her, right? Bastard. Arida's veins were bulging and her face turned black. But due to her fear of the rumored killer, magician, Alan, she dared not question this seemingly thin and weak monkey with little strength, but how that magician had a close relationship with the straw hat boy. So he glared fiercely at his timid and cowardly self. Two years ago, while fishing at sea, she robbed him and became a slave on the boat. He said to his submissive Kirby, Kirby, what did he just say? Can you repeat it? Luffy, he. He said. Miss Alita, are you? KB trembled. Since being caught by the other party two years ago, he has been working as a handyman in the Alrita Pirates. I was constantly thinking about running away, and during this time, I also secretly built a small boat, but I had no courage to escape. At this moment, he recalled his dream of becoming a navy. I still mustered up my courage, gritted my teeth and clenched my fist. Tears welled up uncontrollably, and I loudly said, You're an old and ugly fat woman. It's over. It's over. I actually spoke my heart out. As soon as the words fell, Kirby woke up and cooled down from head to toe. He, who had already penetrated deep into his heart, couldn't help but shudder at the fear of Arida. KB. At this moment, Alita's face was as black as the bottom of a pot, trembling with anger. His eyes were filled with terrifying bloodshot, completely irrational, and he ignored the notorious magician on the side. The sound of breaking through the air howled. The huge wolf tooth stick had already been fiercely drawn over. KB, who was chubby and somewhat short, and not as strong as an ordinary person, suddenly shrank his pupils, causing tears to flow and his face to turn pale in fear. She obediently closed her eyes. Between lightning and flint. In an instant, Lu Fei rushed in front of Kirby and grinned, Let me take you back to the pirate ship, Auntie. Speaking. He forcefully extended his hands backwards like rubber, accumulating force and saying, rubber rubber. In the blink of an eye, the arms that extended to tens of meters began to contract rapidly at an astonishing speed, and the accumulated elastic potential energy began to transform into terrifying impact. The two palms, which bounced back like remnants, were like speeding rockets. With Luffy's precise strike, they lightning fiercely hit the abdomen of Arida, who was waving her fangs and smashing towards Kirby. 
rocket artillery. Wow. Make her have bulging eyes and vomiting blood in her mouth. Screaming in agony, it flew out horizontally and roared straight towards the pirate ship in the distance. I broke the mast without saying anything, but I still lost my weight and smashed through the walls of the cabin, disappearing. Bang. Yeah. Hit the bullseye. Looking at Arida's chubby figure, he hit the pirate ship straight. Shaking his arm, Luffy laughed there. Not bad. Looking at the familiar yet unfamiliar classic moves. Alan, who was filled with emotion, nodded in agreement. When Lu Fei first set sail, although his strength was not particularly strong. But it has to be admitted that thanks to his grandfather, that naval hero has been training and honing him from a young age, which is different from ordinary people. Not only is his vitality exceptionally tenacious, but his foundation is very solid. And KB, who was sitting there paralyzed, stared blankly at this scene, full of disbelief. I was completely scared out of my wits. CGI. Busy wiping my face there. Previously, with tears streaming down his face in a pretentious expression, KB exclaimed in amazement, Lufizang, you are really amazing. KB, you just did great. Looking at Kirby sitting there paralyzed, Luffy did not show any disdain or ridicule, but instead extended his hand to him. At the same time, in a positive tone, he smiled and praised. Really? Lufi Zhang. Being praised by such a powerful figure, Kirby couldn't help but be overjoyed. Grasping Luffy's outstretched hand, he scratched his head and said awkwardly, Actually, I'm scared to death in my heart, but my dream of becoming a navy once made me muster the courage to resist Arita. Speaking of which, the way I looked just now must have been very embarrassing, right? It's okay. Luffy, who had an outgoing personality, completely ignored it. Patting his shoulder and grinning, he said, you are already a real man. By the way, Alan, where is the meat you mentioned? Remembering something, Luffy's eyes lit up with green light. Looking straight at Alan standing beside him with arms in his arms. He clenched his fists tightly and eagerly begged, take it out. Please. Please. No wonder you still remember that. Alan looked at Luffy speechlessly. If it's anything else, this guy definitely doesn't have such good memories. But once it comes to delicacies like meat, it's completely different. There's really nothing I can do about you. He said. I took out a book from my pocket that shone with gold, had a metallic luster, and had an incredibly exquisite cover. Emperor's Tool. Universal Magic Book. Chapter 9. Space Emperors. Universal Magic Book. Fourth Watch. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. This is. A book. Not just the foggy Luffy. KB, who was somewhat afraid of the notorious magician Alan, was somewhat surprised and puzzled. Both of them looked curiously at the notebook, which was full of metallic luster and looked very gorgeous. This is not an ordinary book. Alan's mouth curved upwards. Grasping the golden book, he proudly said, it's called the Universal Magic Book, which is a quite special spatial tool that can store anything. Moreover, the things stored inside, whether living or dead, will never change with the passage of time. Over the years, he has been touring as a magician, touring various seas in the East China Sea, and venturing into countries and islands of all sizes, not just for the sake of making money. Furthermore, through the identity of a magician, he befriended aristocrats, wealthy businessmen, and gang leaders from various social classes to gather intelligence about the devil fruit. Apart from collecting more advanced technologies. Also, search for demon fruits as important materials for crafting imperial tools. Alan has visited the treasure troves of some royal and noble families. In contrast, he is the real thief, and the petty thief Kat Nami is just playing around. But he did it very cleanly, leaving no tail, and did not attract the attention and suspicion of the kingdoms and nobles who were furious and frantically searching for suspicious individuals due to the theft of the treasure trove. 
until Colonel Mouse, who was colluded with the fishermen pirates in the 16th branch of the Navy, was charged with being a pirate and directly wanted, Allen could be said to be innocent. In fact, if it weren't for being afraid of trouble and not being so passionate about wealth. By relying solely on his ability to swallow fruits, he can completely devour and fuse those metals, creating a form memory alloy with extremely high scientific value that can attract all scientists around the world, and directly create a commercial kingdom. I won't say anything else. His collection of demon fruit abilities alone is enough to make those big and small forces envious. The ability of the Superman series to shrink fruits on the Emperor's magic hand is just one of the abilities he collects. In addition, over the past few years, he has also gradually gained some other demon fruit abilities. Among them, some were stolen from the treasure trove of certain royal families, while others were purchased at great cost from the black market in the East China Sea. Even a few years ago, they specifically used flying tools to leap over the Red Earth continent at an altitude of 5,000 meters and enter the North Sea. Either acquire from the underground black market in the North Sea, steal from the royal families in the North Sea, or even snatch from those gangs or pirates I have also disguised myself as someone else and collaborated with large chambers of commerce with deep backgrounds, excellent reputation, and influence not limited to the East or North Seas for a long time. Pay a hefty fee and ask them to help auction off the demonic fruits that were sent to the underground black market or large auction houses from the Great Passage. Overall. It is not without reason that money can make ghosts grind. Over the years, with the huge treasure stolen by visiting the royal treasury in search of the demonic fruits they may have collected, Alan, who possesses the ability to make money, has purchased a large amount of demonic fruits circulating on the black market at great cost through different identities and channels. The harvest is not insignificant. The Superman series, Book Fruit, is one of the abilities obtained by chance from the North Sea. This superhuman ability is extremely unique, capable of creating a book world that is incredibly strange and controlled by the capable. Even any target that can be touched can be absorbed into the book world and imprisoned inside, and even the time inside is equivalent to stillness. The creatures trapped inside will never age. If nothing unexpected happens. Follow the original trajectory. Most likely, this demon fruit will fall into the hands of the big Godmoem pirates. But unfortunately, he was intercepted by Alan. About three years ago, I learned from the underground black market that an unknown demon fruit was about to be auctioned off. Without hesitation, he disguised himself as a bounty hunter and bravely captured the unknown demonic fruit from a representative sent by the big Moem pirates. After verification, it was confirmed that it is a Superman-style book fruit. Surprised, he transformed it into a spatial artifact presented in the form of a book. The Universal Magic Book Due to the perfect fusion of Superman's ability to swallow fruits and devour a large amount of metal synthesis, the hardness is extremely high. Even a thin layer cannot be shaken by ordinary firearms, making it difficult to leave any marks on the shape memory alloy. The Emperor's Universal Magic Book itself has the characteristics of being incredibly sturdy and fearless of water and fire. Not only can it serve as a flying prop, but it can also store any item, and it has other incredible abilities such as books and fruits. The world created in the book is completely dominated and controlled by Alan, who is a user of imperial tools. Even able to directly drag the target into an illusion completely imagined by his imperial tool maker. What happened inside, such as being burned by the flames in the book world illusion, being frostbitten by the low temperature inside the damage received will be truly manifested and applied to the target one by one. Of course, no ability can be flawless, and there must be corresponding flaws and weaknesses. The book world of the Universal Magic Book is not truly omnipotent. If the target being pulled in is strong enough, it can completely ignore the illusion created by the Imperial Tool Envoy out of thin air. For example, if the three generals representing the highest combat power of the Navy headquarters are locked in, it is impossible to kill or trap them in any way. They will be instantly destroyed and tear apart the illusion of the book world with terrifying monster-like power. Perhaps even the Emperor's tool, 
the universal magic book, would be damaged by its immense destructive power. What? Listen to Alan's introduction. Luffy and Kirby couldn't help but widen their eyes. How could this be? You must be joking. Kirby looked at the magician Alan in front of him in shock, feeling his cognition overturned and he couldn't believe it. Is it really possible to do such an exaggerated thing? Really? CGI. And Luffy was surprised. Both eyes were shining like stars. Full of admiration for Alan, this magical companion. I am filled with curiosity and anticipation for this magical, universal magic book. Of course it's true. What kind of meat do you want? Flipping through the almighty magic book, Alan went straight to Lu Fei and asked, Over the years, during my travels in the East China Sea, I have collected all kinds of delicacies and dim sum from various countries. Of course, there are also many living sea kings and beasts, which I have kept as spare food. Curiously, Luffy and Kirby, who were paying attention, couldn't help but widen their eyes. I saw lifelike and vibrant pictures of delicious food on the extremely thin but shiny metallic paper above, making my fingers twitch and my mouth water. Buckwheat noodles, the leading product of the Goya kingdom, goose liver of Gaul in the Francis kingdom, steamed bear paws in the Mobis kingdom, roasted whole lamb in the Oxca kingdom, and the specialty of the Calibian kingdom, the Calibian king crab. Beef hot pot, octopus skewers, Prussian hooves, Boston lobster, Chris C. Beast meat. I want it all, I want it all. Drooling was uncontrollable, and Luffy's eyes, which were starting to flow out, were shining brightly, nodding wildly there. Even Kirby, who was somewhat afraid of Alan, couldn't help but be deeply shocked and swallowed his saliva secretly. The dishes in these pictures are all delicious from various countries in the East China Sea. It can be imagined how many countries the other party has visited. Don't worry, it's enough. Alan chuckled lightly there. He has visited the treasure trove of many royal families and nobles, and it can be said that he is wealthy and wealthy. When he placed orders in those prestigious restaurants, he exhausted the chefs. Some restaurants have even been directly booked by him for ten and a half consecutive days, specifically preparing famous delicacies and dishes for him. The food stored in the Universal Magic Book is astonishingly large. Some delicacies, even he couldn't remember them clearly. Even a big stomach king like Luffy. It is also impossible to completely eliminate all his collections over the years at once. Even allowing him to eat with an open stomach is nothing more than a drop in the bucket for this true food collector. Pointing to the distant sea, he said, but let's get on my boat first. The troublesome guy is here. Chapter 10 Food Collectors, The Road to Drool You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ga Ga On the undulating sea surface Seagulls were dancing and circling happily there. A small boat with a single mass structure that can accommodate three to five people without being too crowded, and has a small cabin for people to rest and even a bathroom, heading towards the distance. The figure above was undoubtedly Alan, who had left the merchant ship directly, along with Luffy and KB. It's the Navy. The Navy is here. Great, we're safe. And shortly after they left, the people who hid on the merchant ship saw the noisy noise outside disappear. They had already boldly walked out one after another, pointing to the sea outside and shouting in surprise. I saw several warships flying seagull flags on the sea not far away at some point. Slowly approaching in the direction where this merchant ship is located. At this moment, many people felt relieved as they had survived the disaster. Excitedly, excitedly, and joyfully cheering there. Some frightened women. Even more so, she wept with joy. Hurry up, hurry up, please Ellen, I want to eat meat. Please, Ellen. On a small boat. Watching his hands clasped together and pleading not to live there, saliva flowed, and his eyes had completely turned into a meat meat light, he felt excited and couldn't wait for Luffy. Alan smiled and said, There's really nothing I can do about you, so let's let you eat enough at once. 
I'm very sorry, because I was once caught as a handyman in the Alrita Pirate Squad, so I may have been pursued by the Navy. When I arrive at the next island, I will leave. On the side, timid and respectful of the infamous name, Magician, Kirby bowed to Alan with some trepidation. It's okay, don't be too reserved. Since you're Luffy's friend, that's the guest. Looking at Kirby, who was somewhat submissive and had not yet undergone transformation, Alan smiled and said, if you want something to eat, just ask for it. He has no ill feelings towards Kirby. Of course, there is no such thing as favoritism. I can only say that I don't dislike it. As for character, beliefs, and so on. He declined to comment and had nothing to say. No one is perfect. The Navy, hailed by countless pirates as the lackeys of the world government. Not to say whether it is truly just. But without a doubt, there is no truly perfect hero from top to bottom. Each and every one of those senior naval officers has certain flaws, and their pursuit of justice is either extreme and thorough, smooth and worldly, or overly naive of course, it cannot be denied that there are also admirable aspects. At the very least, most of the time they conscientiously practice justice, fulfill their responsibilities, maintain order in the sea, and protect the lives and property of countless people. For ordinary lower-class navies and even countless civilians. They can all be called heroes. Worth their respect and support. But for those who, due to their extreme, smooth, or naive behavior, directly or indirectly harm the people and even their naval colleagues, it is not so beautiful in this situation, there is a possibility that one more person in the future may truly become a naval admiral, with a personality that is too weak and considered a cabbie with an unhealthy outlook. In a naval system with generally incorrect values, there is no big deal. It's not surprising at all, there's no need to go online. After all, since Kirby is the guest invited by Luffy to board the ship. So he won't brush the captain's face either. Anyway, his current position is not the navy, but the pirate that countless people hate. Holding a golden book. Looking at Luffy, who was full of anticipation, and Kaby, who was full of curiosity and skeptical about the magical functions of the Emperor's tool and universal magic book he had mentioned. Alan couldn't help but shake his head and smirk, saying, watch it. In an instant, the ability of the Emperor's tool, magic hand, was activated. The Emperor's tool, the universal magic book, which was less than the size of a palm in hand, was constantly enlarging in an instant. A book that sparkles with gold and is as tall as one meter. Just floating in mid-air. Hey! It's getting bigger. KB's gaze froze. Such a magical scene. Obviously, it has exceeded his understanding. It suddenly grew bigger, Alan. Is this the ability of your magic hand? For this scene, Luffy was not too surprised. Because he had already seen the ability of Emperor's magic hand to hold three to five people on this ship, and it was also very spacious, without feeling that the crowded sailboat was reduced to less than the size of a palm. Well, I usually use the ability of the magic hand to shrink it down for easy carrying. Alan nodded and said, its true size is far beyond your imagination, but if you just take out some cooked food that has already been prepared and stored inside, there's no need to get too big. Because we need to ensure that we can store some giant objects or targets. When he created the Universal Magic Book as an imperial tool, he deliberately designed it into a super huge book. Whether it's the giant race or the massive sea king, they can easily receive it into the Universal Magic Book with the power of Superman's book fruit. Due to the ability of Superman to shrink fruits, not only can it shrink any non-living object target, but even its density will change accordingly. Surprisingly, the weight of the object being shrunk will also become lighter as its volume decreases. It is made by perfectly blending the tough shape memory alloy with other materials. It is sturdy, immortal, and not afraid of water and fire. With the power of the Emperor's tool, magic hand, its density will directly overturn common sense and increase to an extremely exaggerated level. To some extent, this book can be directly used as a shield to easily block attacks such as guns and artillery. 
and it won't leave any marks on it. Brushing. The golden pages of the book began to flip through. In the stunning gaze of Luffy and Kirby. One beautiful dish after another flew out of it. Incredibly, they even emit a steaming heat, as if they have just been prepared. For a moment, waves of fragrant fragrance rushed in. It makes people's fingers move and they can't help but swallow saliva uncontrollably. In an instant, the deck of the small boat was covered. Here. Pointing at those crystal clear, steaming, colorful, fragrant and delicious delicacies. Alan, who was already drooling and seemed to want to stab Luffy on these delicious foods, smiled and said with some pride, please use it slowly. If it's not enough, there will be more. Wow. There's so much delicious food, it's really amazing. Luffy, whose eyes were filled with stars, was excited. Unable to resist any longer, the whole person pounced directly on it. 